Hey guys, it's Andre, and I'm here with a video review of the Wacom Bamboo Capture, priced at 99 US dollars. This device is a graphics tablet capable of multi-touch gestures and pressure-sensitive pen input. It's focused mainly on the artistic consumer, but can also work as a multi-touch trackpad to improve your workflow. The packaging includes a wireless stylus, a 3.5 foot USB cable, spare pen nibs, a quick start guide, an installation CD, a software DVD including Photoshop Elements, Sketchbook Express, and Nick Color Filters, and of course, the tablet itself. For an extra $39, you can install the optional wireless accessory kit, which includes a battery, Bluetooth transmitter, and Bluetooth receiver, transforming the tablet into a wireless device. The tablet is available in silver and black, taking obvious design cues from Apple's aluminum computers, looking incredibly beautiful while maintaining a slim profile. On one side, you'll find four square programmable buttons and a thin LED light indicator that lights up in blue or white, depending on if you're using the pen or your fingers. On the other side, you'll find a cloth loop to place your pen inside. The device is roughly the size of an iPad, which seems to give a lot of drawing space. However, the actual usable space of the tablet is only 4 by 6 inches, indicated by these four nubs. Despite the small space available, I found myself more than comfortable drawing without ever feeling the need for more real estate. The surface feels like smooth paper, and it's great for drawing, but I found that when moving my fingers up the trackpad, they would occasionally rub roughly against the surface. It's not as smooth as Apple's glass trackpads, but it'll get the job done. The pin is lightweight and average sized, and includes a button on the side for right clicking. It's sometimes hard to reach, and I wish they put the button a bit lower so it would be easier to press. The Bamboo software is a bit gimmicky and mediocre, with some games and basic programs that you spend about 20 minutes looking at. However, the drivers are simple and intuitive, which allows you to easily customize your tablet to suit your needs. For left-handed people like me, you have the option to flip the tablet around to use your left hand. When it comes to using the tablet for writing and drawing, it takes a bit of getting used to, but it's very accurate. The pressure sensitivity permits you to fully express your drawing techniques, allowing you to change the size of your brush depending on how hard you press against the tablet. Another great feature is the built-in proximity sensor, which shows you where your pen is just by hovering it over the surface. The multi-touch functionality is vast, yet average in performance. You'll find a lot of the gestures used on Apple's trackpads, such as two-finger scroll, pinch to zoom, rotate, and three-finger swipe. Occasionally, the software will confuse pinch to zoom for rotate, and the scrolling is a bit jaggedy, but this is all due to poor software and not the very capable tablet. Overall, the tablet is very fun to use and is definitely worth the price point, giving you the functionality of a multi-touch trackpad with the usage of accurate pen input. If you're in the market for a graphics tablet to draw digital art, or just want to retire your mouse, the Wacom Bamboo Capture is a great option for you. Thanks for watching, and be sure to click that like button if the review was helpful to you.